Food and Drug Administration has granted marketing approval for a home test for chlamydia and gonorrhea. The first one for STDs, except for HIV. I really dig this. I feel like it's like a pandemic era thing where we all got used to doing at-home tests for COVID. And there's no real reason why we can't do at-home tests for, let's say, the flu. Um, There's no real reason why we can do an at-home pregnancy test and not one for STDs as long as the test exists. I guess from a convenience perspective, if someone wants to go to the doctor and like have that test be done for them and blah, blah, blah. I get that. But I kind of like the idea, like if I'm worried that I have gonorrhea or chlamydia, that I can just see for myself in like the privacy of my own home <laughs> and uh, hear yeah. back from from the lab when those are ready rather than like anyone who's done an STD panel knows like waiting for the phone call if they're going to call or not. And then you ah, So I thought this was kind of nice. I mean, at home testing in general, as you just said, unless it's a radiology test, unless it's a test where there is some risk in taking the test, right? So Mm -hmm. blood work, you're sticking a needle somewhere. There's a, there's a chance that that could damage, right? There's, there are tests that we do that carry risks, but most of the infectious disease, viral and bacterial tests do not. They just test whether or not you have these pathogens in your body. And as you just said, one of the things about the pandemic was most of these things could be done in the privacy of your own home. And not just that, but a hell of a lot cheaper without Mm -hmm. intermediation and labs and all the things that come with it. So more and more and more, absolutely. And we should commercialize all this. We should remove whatever regulatory framework stands in the way of it. And we should, anything that you can do at home that does not carry significant risks of damaging yourself while doing them should be done at home. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I should say too, that these tests are done. I mean, probably people kind of get how this is done, but it's a vaginal swab or urine sample. So it's definitely low risk. (laughs) I'm sure there's someone somewhere that will do something (laughs) to harm themselves with these. Everything can have some (laughs) theoretical risk. Let's just accept that. But it's different than like blasting yourself with radiation or jabbing yourself with a needle. 100%. Yes. And um, the results are delivered online and there is follow-up care if the diagnosis is positive or ambiguous. So in case people are worried, like you send in your sample, someone's like, yeah, you have gonorrhea. And then it's just like, bye, good luck. No, it's not like that. Okay. There's going to be further steps. So here's to at-home testing for everything. Yes. Yes. Why 